And welcome on in to another edition of Northern Delights on Up North at 4. We are joined by Chef Tom, or as you may know him at home, he's the CT yeah. of CT's <laughs> Deli. <laughs> An excellent restaurant here in downtown Ryan Lander. Chef Tom, thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks, for, thank you for having me. Yeah. So glad to have you. Back. So I'm, I'm always curious, so I'd love to ask people, what led you down the path of saying culinary arts, this is my thing, I want to do it. You know, I think it's always been my thing. I mean, even, even since I was a kid, I loved to cook. You couldn't keep me out of the kitchen. And then I had a chef um, about 30 years ago, and I was actually bartender at that point in time mm -hmm. and said, you know, I want you where you garnish your, your drinks at the bar. Would you like to become a chef? You know, I know you're coming up on spring break. If you don't like it, you don't have to tell anybody you're going to leave. But if you do like it, I'd love to have you on board. And ever since then, I've just been amazed by the food and how yeah. to do it and all the different applications and I just absolutely love to cook. So yeah. what are we making today? All right, chef? I think we're going to start off with a tomato bruschetta okay. and actually the bruschetta is actually the bread of which you toast but the really? tomato is actually a, a tapenade. Okay. So that's actually the description of what it is. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some fresh tomatoes from your garden okay. and we're going to place them in our bowl and then we're going to add a little red onion. Red onion. And you can add as much red onion as you want, but red onion can Crazy be a little powerful. Chef. We're going all oh, in. Okay. You're going to go all in. I'm just going to add a little bit of mine. We have and onion we can, breath. And then we're going to add a little fresh garlic. So, garlic. Once Quite again, pink, yeah, you garlic can always here. add. The next step is too crazy. we're going to take the basil and we're going to roll it. It's actually called a shift nut cut. Okay. So you're going to take it from the stem and roll it into like a little tube, if you will. Okay, okay. You got and this. one thing about herbs is you should some. never beat them up. Treat them delicately. Okay. So we're just gonna kinda, we're gonna roll it up like this, and you're gonna, you're gonna start cutting from the end all the way through. So you're just gonna kinda come through it very delicately. I take a little Zambuca, because Ooh. basil has a anise flavor to it. Mm -hmm. This just accentuates that basil inside there. I'm just gonna add just a pinch of salt and pepper. And how much Zambuca do you say we're adding here? Like, you oh, say? probably a half a tablespoon. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and then we're just gonna put a little Parmesan cheese in there. Just a little, not a lot. Because we're gonna, you're gonna use the, the rest of your Parmesan cheese for a garnish as well. Okay. And then we're just gonna lightly toss this. Lightly toss. Appetizer is ready. Okay, love it. So now as your company is eating the appetizer, now we're gonna get into this. We're gonna put a little olive oil in the bottom of our pan. Olive oil. All right. And now we're getting going on this. The garlic chicken. Garlic chicken. And our Sorry. pan's about 400 plus degrees. And now we're gonna bring in our chicken, place it in our pan. And you wanna get a nice sear on this. You're not gonna do a slow cook on this chicken. So we're gonna take a quick break while this browns up, our pasta gets ready. Stick with us on Up North at 4. Now we're going to add our garlic to this dish. Okay. And now, one thing that's really critical about doing this is you don't want to brown your garlic. We're just going to basically sweat out the oils that are in the garlic the because brown garlic is bitter. Should I turn down the heat in this process nope. or no? Okay. You will not. So then how do we make sure we're not browning that? Is it just You're going to do this stirring? for about one more minute. Okay. About a minute, minute and a half of this garlic in this pan. A quick and okay. the oils from the garlic stop. have been released into okay. the bottom of the pan. So at this point, what we're going to do, the garlic, you can smell, it's very aromatic right now, so you're really pulling the oils out of the garlic. Now we're going to add in, uh, as they call, the culinary term will be called deglazing. Okay. Now we're going to add in our chicken stock. All right, we're bit. adding about a cup, right? Yep. And you're going to deglaze this pan with the stock. And then what we're going to do is called reducing. So we're going to reduce this, the stock down um, for about three to four minutes. You want to get a good hard boil out of it. Right, right now, all we're doing is we're pulling all the flavors out of this out of this pan. Mm. So we're, we're taking all the flavors that you've created inside the pan, and now you're allowing them to be released inside the stock. Oh. And starting to reduce down. We don't want to take it too far down and lose all this stock What's in here. What's like the rule of thumb for how far down you want to take it? Depends on what you're making. Okay. Okay. I mean, it, you know. It, so, it depends on the stock or the flavor or the sauce. So mm -hmm. I want this to be creamy. So I don't want this to go down too far. And now we're gonna add our heavy cream to this. Okay. Nate. And this we're adding about, looks like what, half a cup here. Yep. Right towards the end when you know it's nearing its completion, mm -hmm. the, 
I guess you could say the bubbles, mm -hmm. will become larger and slower in the pan. Larger so right now they're they're rapid and very small. Okay. And as you get as you pull it down further and further, the, they'll get a little bit larger and your your boiling will become it will it will look slower. Oh. And that, that's when you know Almost that like the thickness has been achieved. In a way. Right. That's beautiful. Uh, we should take this over to the tasting table. What do you it? think? Yes. You guys ready? Let's go Absolutely. Let's All right. go. <laughs> All right. Now is the best part of the Northern Delight show. Forks up. Forks, Forks up. up. <laughs> but I feel like we got to start with our appetizer. We should have at least a little bit Come of an app. Right? right? Absolutely. All right. So let's take a look here at the, the bruschetta. <laughs> bruschetta. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll go for this one that's got, mm, go with a little uh, of the balsamic on there. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. Mm. Mm. Very so good. Fresh mm. and light mm -hmm. too, chef. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could eat that on a hot summer day, easily. <laughs> As you should. And then we go to the main dish here. Right. The garlic chicken, chicken. pasta. Yep. We need smell a vision because this I place know. smells so I good. I feel right so now. bad for the people at home. Garlic right. chicken. Mm. Tons of flavor. I'm gonna get some quick, it's just easy, the right amount of sauce. Yeah. Get a little chicken with it. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so good. Mm. <laughs> I'm putting sauce all over my face. Chef, we're but speechless, but I'll the, tell you the what. garlic comes out, the cream comes out. Yep. I taste I taste the sambuca too. And, and, this, was, yes. and this was so yeah. easy to do. It took us ten minutes of cooking time, yep. give or take. You can easily do this at home, and Chef Tom. Very easy. It's been so much fun chatting with you and, and cooking with you. Well, having I thanks for having me here. Yeah, yeah. please yeah. come yeah. back. Awesome. Please come back again. I will. Okay. I would love to. Absolutely. We're holding you to that. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> it's on tape. <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah.